Beta-hydroxybutyrate. That's a mouthful, isn't it? The shortened to the point answer is, this chemical compound is a fire starter. But what is beta-hydroxybutyrate? This is a super technical and a sciencey type word, and it can be really intimidating. But we're going to break it down, because it's a leading term in the ketogenic community. It's a chemical compound that your body produces naturally. It's oxidized and polymeric derivatives occur widely in nature. The compound can be used as an energy source by the brain when blood glucose is low. Beta-hydroxybutyrate, or simply BHB, is a molecule that is considered a ketone body. It is one of the main molecules that helps your body produce energy in the absence of glucose. This molecule is quite essential if you're using your own fat for fuel or taking BHB as a supplement to increase energy production. Essentially, to be in a nutritional ketosis, if you're not certain about what ketones are or what nutritional ketosis is, we're going to cover some of that later in this video. Technically speaking, BHB is not a ketone body. Ketone bodies or ketones are technically carbonyl carbons, which are bonded to two additional carbon atoms. One carbon has four available bonds, double bonded to oxygen, and two single bonds to carbon. Then you have a ketone. But that really doesn't matter in this case. I really don't want to get in the weeds, and I, you know, let's not complicate this and get this confused. For all intents and purposes of the ketogenic diet, BHB should be considered one of the three ketone bodies and a ketone nonetheless. Ketosis, to put it simply, is the state in which you burn fat for fuel. The human body isn't stupid. It will burn what it has in most abundance that yields the most energy for its volume. Carbs, for example, some, not all, burn up quick but are packed with intense fuel that yield large bursts of energy. Compare this to an energy drink that a lot of modern culture seems to adore, especially here in the U.S. Fat and protein burn slowly and allow a steady stream of energy. Your energy levels won't crash because your body can't get rid of fat near as fast as it can get rid of carbs. Ketosis helps regulate the blood without complications. Involving complex carbs into your diet causes your body to heighten your blood sugar and as a result produce insulin. This stuff is nasty in large amounts. Consider it to be your blood's very own personal fat kicking police force. High blood sugar is interpreted as a toxic by your body, so the insulin regulates your blood to cleanse it. Soon, your body starts struggling to keep up. Then you take high amounts of carbs, sugar, and the insulin can't keep up. Your body converts sugar to fat and insulin stores it in cells. Your body is capable of regulating your blood sugar on its own without help when you aren't mainlining so much sucrose. Ketogenic diets avoid such problems. But what about heart disease and cholesterol? I don't want to die because bacon is not really worth it. Uh, some might argue though. There is no evidence linking any bad cholesterol or heart disease with animal fat. Early human beings ate more than five times the modern recommended intake of animal fat and protein. Do not worry about high anything while on ketone other than energy levels. Endogenous beta-hydroxybutyrate. Your body makes it. Beta-hydroxybutyrate can be made in the body. Endogenous means your body makes it. Think the EN equals IN. It's in you. Your body makes it. Exogenous beta-hydroxybutyrate. You put it into your body. From an external source, you can drink a supplement. Sometimes waiting for your body to make the switch from carbohydrate metabolism to beta-hydroxybutyrate metabolism, aka ketosis, can be an uncomfortable and lengthy process. That's why therapeutic ketone supplements can be truly helpful. First, they can help you avoid the keto flu. Second, if you mess up and cheat on your diet by eating, let's say, a pizza, the supplement will help you snap right back into a ketosis burning state and back into a fat burning state. I self only use one ketone supplement is because it was developed for the Navy SEALs. 
in partnership and grants by the Department of Defense and the Office of Naval Research. You know, these guys, they go all out. They never run out of anything. So, in addition to the Navy SEALs, NASA uses it for their astronauts when they are deployed into space. So, if it's good enough for these guys, and these folks, I think it should be good enough for us. Thanks for watching.